Brewer Spring Training, Day 19, Leody Tavares would ground out to short. Ezekiel Duran would hit a single out to right. Then the Rangers would get back-to-back outs. The Brewers would have back-to-back singles and get the other two outs. The Rangers would have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Derrick Hill single. Willie Adams would walk, then the Brewers would go 1-2-3. Davis Wenzel would hit a solo home run, making it 1 nothing Rangers. The Rangers would have a practical 1-2-3 except for a Leody Tavares single out to left. Brock Burke would replace the area Rodriguez. The Brewers would go 1-2-3. Then the Rangers would go 1-2-3. Austin Peru would replace Brock Burke. Then the Brewers would go 1-2-3. Then the Rangers would go 1-2-3. Blake Taylor would replace Austin Pruitt. How many 1-2-3s are there going to be? Hobie Milner would replace Freddie Peralta. Then the Rangers would go 1-2-3. Diego Castillo would replace Blake Taylor. The Brewers would start a rally in scoring two runs. Then after that mini rally, the inning would de-escalate. Owen Miller would replace Reese Hoskins. Trevor McGill would come into the game, and the Rangers would have a pretty much 1-2-3. Mark Church would replace Diego Castillo. The Brewers would have practical 1-2-3 except for a Bryce Terang hit by pitch. Eric Koss would come into the game and Tyago Vieira would replace Trevor McGill. Barrero would strike out and Hill would ground out. Davis Wenzel double, then a Cameron Colley strike out. Jesus Tinoco would replace Mark Church. Sal Freelick would single and steal second base. Eric Koss and Christian Yelch would go back to back. Then after that, the Brewers would go 1-2-3. Enoli Paredes would replace Tyago Vieira. Then to end out game 1, Enoli would go 1-2-3. End of game one, and the Brewers would win 5-1. to one. The record is now 8-13-1. Let's head into game two. Also, Eric Haas is the Brewers' respective Brewers player of the game. Game two would start off by this rally. Ryan Noda would hit a single. Then the A's would go 1-2-3. Oliver Dunn would hit a single. The Brewers would have three walks and a Chris Roller RBI. Chavez Young would be caught stealing. The A's would go 1-2-3 again. Then the Brewers would go 1-2-3. The A's would have a practical 1 3 except for a Ryan Noda walk. The first two outs, then a Vinny Capper walk. A Brewer Hicklin double, then a Chris Roller struggle would make it 2 0 Brewers. Blade and Brown would hit back to back singles. In this rally, the A's would put up three runs. Nod Dodgers, Max Muncy would fly with the left. Trevor Gout would replace Joe Boyle. Chavez Young would start off with a walk. The Brewers would put up two runs. Then a Jake Bowers home run would make it 7 3 Brewers. Oliver Dunn would get walked. Stevie Emanuels would replace Trevor Gott. The Brewers would have a practical 1-3 except for a Yanni Hernandez walk. Ryan Noda and Miguel Andahar would get back-to-back outs. Jared Koenig would replace Jakob Junis. Blade and Brown would hit back-to-back singles. Brent Rooker would get the third out. Lucas Ursig for Stevie Emanuels. The Brewers would have a practical 1-3 except for a Tyler Black walk. And Oliver Dunn through on home run make it 10-3 Brewers. Yanni Hernandez would get walked and Brewer Higgling would get the third out. Toro and Soderstrom would get the first two outs. Schumann would get hit, then he'd move to the second. Max Muncy double, Stephen Scotty walk, and then Miguel Andohar fly out. Michael Kelly would replace Lucas Ursig. The Brewers would have a practical 1-2-3. J.B. Bukowskis would replace Jared Koenig. The A's would go 1-2-3. Tyler Ferguson would replace Michael Kelly. The Brewers would have a practical 1-2-3. Rob Zestrisny would replace J.B. Bukowskis. The A's would hit two singles in the inning. Grant Holman would replace Tyler Ferguson. Dawson and Roller would get back-to-back outs. Luke Adams would replace Chavez Young. Brock Wilkin would hit a single. A Matt Wood hit by pitch would make it 11-4 Brewers. The A's would end out the day on a 1-2-3. The Brewers win 11-4. The Brewers' respective Brewers player of the game goes to Oliver Dunn. If you like what you see, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you more spring training videos.